Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Welcome to tonight's episode of Talking Point. I'm your host, Saeed Niaza. I hope you all have had a good summer break. Tonight, our guest is an international journalist. He has lived in London for a long time. He's London based. He was born in India, went to Aligarh University, and when he came to London, he studied international journalism at City University London. He has worked with many international magazines, newspapers. He has been published in international journals. He has his own blog and he is very closely related to some of the charities in London. He has written copiously about affairs of Europe and South Asia. Thank you very much, Mr. Muhammad Ghazali Khan, to the show. Thank Coming you. along after all this Thank you for long having journey me. from North London. Thanks for having me. How are you today? Very well, thanks. Thank you. Uh, first things first, uh, this afternoon I was watching one of the famous Indian channels, ABP, and there was something about a guru called Ram and Rahim. Did you follow that story? Well, I have um, followed it, yes. I have uh, seen the violence that has... It is almost paralyzed all, uh, Delhi. Yes, exactly, almost paralyzed uh, Delhi, Chandigarh especially. And uh, well, this is one of those things and an example of, of uh, what can happen in India, mm -hmm. how the cults are created, how these figures um, controlling these cults um, control the minds of innocent people mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. behind the scene their nefarious activities, activities and when right. they are exposed yes. this is what comes out it has happened in the past the known Rajneesh Ar R Rajneesh is a long he was very open everyone mm -hmm. knew about his activities but uh, I'm talking about uh, Asaram mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the famous guru even our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and all these uh, big figures mm -hmm. were his followers disciples yes mm -hmm. So n nothing new, it, it is just an example of uh, w the direction in which India is heading. Does this Mr. Ram Rahim, does he preach a particular kind of uh, uh, ideology uh, does it, that brings both the religions together? It's a very hodgepodge uh, thing I have been unable to understand myself what, right. what he does. But uh, yes, he has a huge following and it is not only him, there are many like him in, in India mm, mm, performing he, various sort of uh, miracles. Yes, <laughs> yes, performed, you see. Yes. All the gurus are supposed to do that. Exactly. See, see. And there is a large following of him, uh, particularly in North India. Oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. is, is he, is he, is, I was, I heard some other name like uh, associated with him, some Singh. Is he, is he, is he the same person? I don't know which thing. Uh, Group chief thing or some, some Yeah, yeah. He's the same person. Yes, yes. So Sikhs, uh, they, they do seem to have a very, 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 very open mind about. Okay, we need to take a break and then when we come back, we'll continue with this very interesting discussion about South Asia. Thank you.